In Greater Taipei, COVID spread has picked up in long-term care facilities. The Central Epidemic Command Center says COVID has been found in more than 60 centers, with nearly 200 infections so far. Experts say that long-term care facilities, such as nursing homes, are the Achilles heel of Taiwan's COVID defense. They say vulnerable residents and staff should be prioritized for vaccination. COVID is spreading like fire into long-term care facilities. One of the worst hit is a nursing home in Taipei's Xingyi district, where a cluster involving 38 people has resulted in the deaths of seven residents. At another aged care home in New Taipei, one resident has died and another 32 people have been infected so far. Experts warn that those at long-term care homes are especially vulnerable to the virus. When an outbreak hits a long-term care institution, there is indeed a greater risk because the residents are older and may have underlying diseases. So we should consider moving them up on the priority list for vaccination. At the CECC, discussions are underway over prioritizing people at long-term care homes for vaccination. On Thursday, it announced six rules for controlling spread at care facilities, including curbs on resident movement and a telemedicine protocol. It's advising against accepting new residents who are only to be admitted with proof of a negative PCR test. In addition, all COVID-positive residents of care homes must be hospitalized until they get a negative PCR test. Meanwhile, in Jilong, a dialysis clinic has reported a COVID case. Experts say that dialysis clinics are another weak link in the nation's pandemic defense. Patients who need kidney dialysis already have a weak immune system, and they are more likely to become infected. Therefore, in clinical settings, we have seen a great many dialysis patients becoming infected. Once they are infected with the COVID-19 virus, they are prone to developing severe symptoms and even death. We will strengthen our monitoring of dialysis clinics. If necessary, we will conduct antigen screening at regular intervals, something along those lines. At nursing homes across the country, many of the residents have chronic diseases or require kidney dialysis. Former health official Su Yiren says that given the vaccine shortage and the absence of a COVID cure, nursing home residents should be given remdesivir to reduce the risk of death and severe symptoms. In Europe and the U.S., COVID has taken a devastating toll in aged care homes. Experts urge action to prevent the same in Taiwan.